What is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love and once again we are back with some more Earthbound Beginnings. In the last episode we actually lost Teddy. Um, he should still be in here. Or actually no, this is the wrong house. I'm, I'm thinking of the one that's all the way in the swamp. Uh, but uh, we regained Lloyd. Uh, something happened with Anna, which I will not disclose. And we are here on top of Mount Itoi. Um, if you've noticed, I did level up quite a bit since the last episode. I think I leveled up a little too much, but that's okay because these guys still hit like a truck. I thought I needed to level up everyone to level 38, but I guess... I only needed to level up Nintendo to 38 and Ana to 35. Basically what I wanted to do was I wanted to get each and every single person's PSI ability. So um, as you can see Nintendo has life up Pi. What else does he have? I think that's it actually. But Ana did gain a, f a few things. Uh, let's see she gained life up Omega. What else? What else? What else? I think she also gained power shock. Power Shield. We got PK Freeze Omega, PK Fire Gamma and Omega, PK Beam Gamma and Thunder and actually no, it was PK Beam Omega. That was the one I got. And then we have PK Thunder Gamma. So this was the last place that I actually ended up in uh, before we got absolutely pummeled by a robot and we had to go back down in the swamp. But I did manage to go back all the way up here on my own free time. The only problem is that I don't actually have any bread. So if I want to come back over here, I need to be super careful. Just in case I don't get fucked up by anyone else. So let's keep going. And we have a grizzly bear. Uh, let's see here, let's see here. I think this is fine for your regular PK Beam Gamma. There should... What? Oh my god. Please tell me that kills. Okay, that kills. That was a little too much for my liking. How much? Does Anna need? Yeah, she needs quite a lot. Uh, I'll just use Peak Life of Gamma from Nintendo. 10. So yeah, uh, the folks here in Mount Itoi can still like pummel the shit out of me. So that's why I want to be super careful. Oh, Mook. Alright, um, I think this is another time where I can use PK Beam Gamma. As long as he doesn't hit me first. There we go. I know it's cheap. It's definitely cheap, but like... It works. That That's what really matters. Alright, now this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, I'm going to use PSI Shield. I know I shouldn't be using this much PSI, but... It's... For the sake of trying to survive. Hopefully. Okay. Hopefully PK. Please no. Please no. Please no. Please hit. And they're still not dead. Great. This is actually bad. I don't understand why they're not dead yet. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to use PK Fire Gamma right then and there. Well, at least I didn't need to use it then, because Lloyd killed them. Thank you, Lloyd. You're finally useful. Yeah, so uh, I just realized I went the wrong fucking way, and I'm not going to waste my time using my PSI just to get back over here hell no I'm gonna be look the get the game gave me a fucking uh, go back in time button so I'm gonna make the most of it 
Here we go. The boat motor appears to be broken, but Lloyd fired it up. All right. Ooh, I can. I can move. Um. Oh, Lord. This is scary. I don't want to fight anyone here. This looks like. This looks like prime. Whatchamacallit? It? Prime random encounter territory. Uh. Let's go east. Alright, there's nothing here. Please, no random encounters! Wow, you're kidding. <laughs> no random encounters yet. Is my luck finally turning around? Ooh, fish. Is my luck finally turning around? Is this the Monopoly luck finally coming into Earthbound Beginnings? Jesus Christ, how far do I have to go along? Is there just, like, not a single enemy here? Hey, what's this? Alright, I guess I can't talk. Feeling Nintendo's presence, a robot came back to life. My name is Eve. I have been waiting for you. My creator was George. He was taken to the end of the universe. Then brought back later... I am here to protect you. That is my purpose. Um. Whoa. Uh. Okay. Is Eve just gonna follow us? There's nothing saying about Eve, so I'm gonna check what I'm gonna see what she does real quickly. Okay, so apparently Eve can kill all enemies, so... And I'm being told that I could just guard, so... Cool, I guess. Well, Eve, I guess it's your time to shine. For the love of God, please do not kill me. <laughs> Holy shit! Are they trying to attack Eve? Wait a minute, can I sauce up Eve? I can't. I guess Eve is... Eve is her own thing. Something that I can't control. Holy shit! Sheesh! I can't believe this! Look at that! This just made this this just made things so much more easier. All right, f f fuck this then. I guess I'm just I guess I'm just booking it. Yeah, because what are they gonna do? They can't do shit to me. They're gonna have to go against Eve. Yeah, that's right, motherfucker. <laughs> Go up against my robot! Oh shit, please no! I guess I still can get damaged. Oh man, even Eve gets damaged. Maybe I should be careful with her? Because she might end up like the, the flying man, in which I can't heal him back. Oh fuck! Please don't end up like the flying man! I beg of you, Eve! I just wanna get through all of this! Some of these guys are stupidly difficult for some reason. And I have to use so much PSI. Oh fuck! Come on! The rope was right there! 
Omega Borg. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> Thank you, Eve. Omega Borg and Giga Borg. Oh fuck. Somebody is gonna pummel my ass. I I'm sure of it. Jesus Christ. Oh fuck! No, Eve! Why aren't you guys guarding to begin with? What the fuck? Oh, that PK freeze Omega was not guarded at all. Fucking hell! Oh god damn it! Last star man. I am very concerned. Which is why I'm going to be using PSI shield. Well, they're 441. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, okay, we're all shielding, we're all shielding, we're all being bitches. Oh my god. Eve only took a damage of one, really. And this man got pummeled. A star miner, what the fuck? My god. Eve is showing no mercy. Also, there's a cave. The fuck? Was that, was that an actual random encounter or was that like a guaranteed encounter? Because I swear I thought I saw something on the floor. Oh, Gigaborg is just down. All right, Ninten, we're saucing up, buddy. Hey, a present. A sea pendant. What's this? When you use it, it will defend against all PSI. Holy shit. Oh, God, Lloyd, that defense. Um... I think I might follow the guide and just give it to Anna. Because, like, Anna is, like, she's weak, but she's very, like, powerful in terms of, like, PSI shit. And, like, I kind of don't want her to die immediately. So, also, fuck. Oh, god damn it. These assholes are just gonna hit me first, aren't they? Of course, before Eve, the, before Eve destroys them. Fuck! 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 Oh, of course, he didn't guard in time. Thank you very much, Eve. Holy shit! Where did he come from? Quick! Heal up! Oh my god. Eve is gonna die, isn't she? Oh, I guess she's only attacking Eve. I can't- I, Damn, I wish I could sauce up Eve. I honestly wish I could sauce up Eve. Um, let's go with defense down and You know what let's be a dick let's let's power Let's power block him and do anything to this guy Okay, there no effect Okay, it's just pointless. It's just pointless. I'll, I'll just... I'll let Eve do her shit. 
I'll let Eve do her shtick. Oh my god, Eve, please don't! I don't want to fight this robot on my own. Wait a minute, I'm a moron. I could still use defense up. There we go. Can we defense Eve? Can we de Fuck no! Okay, this is actually taking quite a bit more time than I would like it to be. I wish I could contribute, but I only do one fucking damage, so it'd be pointless. Just realize it would be pointless. It's pointless of me to do to do to do all the PSI attacks that I've done. Wait a minute! Okay, I'm starting this fight all over again. Because if this thing is only gonna attack Eve, then there's just something I want to figure out. I'm still gonna have to heal up everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I do PSI Magnet? Nope, not at all. Alright, I'm autoing this. Let's just get this over with. Holy shit! What was that? What was that? I actually did not pay attention. I was reading something. What happened? Oh my god, no! Eve! Oh no, Eve! You're joking. <laughs> You're joking me! Well, I guess at least she gave me the, the seventh melody, but... Fuck, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, Mr. Omega Borg, I did nothing to you. Eve is gone. Please fuck off. Please, for the love of God, fuck off. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Um. Why? Can we please kill him? Okay, he's gone. He's gone. The bad man is gone. Unfortunately, though. So is... So is Anna. She's about to be fucking gone. She's about to be obliterated from this world. What's this? Ninten, welcome. I always believed that you would find your way here. Your great grandmother Maria's love was scattered. Scattered in the form of melodies. I have a melody for you. Listen and remember. The crystal fragments that had broken off stopped glowing and disappeared. Um, okay. Is that it? Wait a minute. That's all eight melodies. Does that mean... Does that mean I have to go back to Magic Hand? Screw it, I'm doing this. I do not want to die in this fucking plateau. God, I can't believe I have to be back here for the last godforsaken time. Alright, so I had to do a little bit of switching around my inventory and whatnot. And... Well, I don't know what's gonna happen. Look, look, all I just know is that I have all eight melodies. I had a shit ton of PSI stones, so I was like, you know what? Something might happen. There has to be like a final boss or something like that. It can't be over that quickly, right? 
So yeah, I'm stacked up. And I also just have to save real quickly. So Queen Mary's it is, I guess. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, I don't want to be dealing with magic and bullshit right now. All right, bucko, move. Now, I don't remember how to get back to Queen Mary's. Here we go. Miss Royal Highness herself. What's good, my G? Don't copyright claim me. <laughs> Please don't copyright claim me, uh, Nintendo. Yes, that's right. That is the song. Oh, she sings it again? Um, okay. Once again, Mr. Nintendo, <laughs> please don't copyright claim me. Just, it's 8-bit. Come on. Come on, dude. Oh, guy, 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 guy. I loved him. I loved him as if he was my own child. He was always wagging his tail just like a pup. Why is it getting darker? Except for when I try to sing him lullabies. Ah, uh, George, this is your wife, Maria. Coming to join you. My purpose is come. Wait a minute, Queen Mary is Maria? Is she my great grandmother? No! Wait! I have so many questions! After telling the story to Ninten, with a rush of wind, Queen Mary vanished. As she disappeared, so did Magican. Magican was a mirage? A mirage born of Marie's conscience? So you're telling me I've been stuck in someone else's conscience for the last 14 episodes? Okay, we're, we're, we have to do this again. I regret even... I regret even checking. No! Juana? Uh, Alba, Juana, fuck off? Oh my god. Fuck it, where's the fourth D-slip? Fourth D-slip! Of course, when you get to use PK Beam Gamma and I have the Franklin Badge, you still survive! I knew there was a cave there, but I didn't know where the fuck it was supposed to lead me to. What the fuck was Geig? Geig? Geiga? Is that how you pronounce it? I have no fucking clue. Uh, hey, Chief! Who are you? Is this some Star Trek looking ass thing? Um. Can we talk this out? Who the fuck is Geiga? Oh, fuck. Um. Ninten, I'm grateful to your family. The form of Geig's attacks was inexplicable. Cool, I guess? Uh, 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, sing? Is that what I have to do? Actually, it might be better for me to use Life Up Omega. Your great grandparents, George and Maria, raised me. The fuck they raised you? Yep, thank God I did uh, Life Up Omega. Um, okay, am I just supposed to sing with everyone? But George stole violin. Wait a minute, I, is, I thought he was Geiger or whatever it's pronounced. Oh, wait. George stole vital information from our planet that can be used to betray my people. Oh, come on. Do I need to sauce up on defense again? I don't get if I'm doing any damage at all. Uh, let's try Sing again, but Lloyd, you're useless. Kind of right now. You attack him. And now one of his descendants is obstructing our plans and must be stopped. Linton, I'm talking about you. Bro, I'm just a child, my G. What the fuck? I didn't do shit. Do you want to know how this started? This started because you guys were trying to attack me. Who was the one who sent a fucking... Holy shit. Who was the one who kept fucking attacking my home? Lloyd, you're doing good. Uh, oh yeah, I got a bunch of flamethrowers, but I guess it's not going to be useful here. Plasma beam! Go home now. Perish with the rest of the ugly earth. Be what the fuck, bro? Don't be giving me this kind of shit. Oh god, don't be giving me this kind of shit. I truly don't think this is working at all. Might have to switch it up. Oh, come on. Oh, no, you fuck. Oh, fuck. I don't think you can really do much. So just saying, for, for God's sakes. Foolish one. You cannot do a thing with your meager powers. Powers worthy of a lowly insect. Guys, please stop taking this much damage. What the fuck? I feel like I might die here. Not gonna lie. Um. Shh, go ahead. Keep singing. Keep attacking. I have no fucking clue. Nenten, you alone. I may save you. Just you alone. Board our mothership with me. Why, now why would I want to board your mothership with you? Just so I don't suffer the fate of you killing my people or whatnot? Because you decided to come attack me first? Don't get me started with this shit. Classic alien bullshit. Always trying to gaslight that they're right and I'm wrong. Then fall into long sleep with your friends. And the other ugly earth people. My G, look who's talking! Look how ugly you are! Even Mega might be looking better than you. Stop singing. <laughs> Why is he saying stop singing? Oh wait, is the singing working? Stop singing! No! You cuck! Is this longer? Stop! Stop the song! Please don't kill me. 
Okay, cool. Anna still survive. I swear, the songs are getting longer, aren't they? Stop it! Stop that song! Wait a minute, he might actually attack me first. You puny little earth bugs. Stop it! Stop singing that song! Okay, please. Please! Either kill him or let Anna go first, you fuck. The song. Fuck, 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 fuck. Alright. Alright, note to self. This guy go whatever the fuck his name is, attacks first. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God, Anna's running low on PSI power. The song. Quick! Keep singing! Why does he attack first? And why is this in the 40s this time? Stop it! Okay, I'm not gonna lie with you guys. This is feeling a little anticlimactic. This is getting old really quickly. I just kind of wanted to stop. It's taking a, a little too long for my liking. It's not really much I can say other than I'm singing. God damn, why is this melody gotta be so long? Stop, please stop. Am I like bringing back old trauma or something? Okay, round two. Or round three, whatever. Round 69 for all I care. How many times do I have to sing to him? Come on. <laughs> Can we hurry this up? Can we actually hurry this up? Are we over? Are we done? Is he gone? How could I be defeated by a song like that? I will sometime. Ninten, we shall meet again. Cool. Is that it? Is he just gonna fuck off all because of one song? I probably should put an epilepsy warning. What the? What the fuck was that? At the summit of Mount Itoi, Anna is reunited with her mom as the rest of the pre as as the rest of the freed Earth people exit the cave. Teddy, his health fully recovered, now sings daily at the live show. Let's go, Teddy! You were only here for one episode, but still. The kidnapped grown-ups return to their lonely children in Youngtown. Anna, I promise I won't forget you, so I will not say goodbye, just till we meet again. Lloyd returns to a hero's welcome at Twinkle Elementary School. Hey, there we go! My boy Lloyd finally getting the recognition he deserves! Let's go, nerds! Let's go! <laughs> Son, your sisters and I are so happy to see you back in one piece. How unbelievable that you're not hungry. Ah yes, I forgot. I have two sisters, Minnie and Mimi. The irrelevant one. A letter from Ninten. I miss him so much. I hope we can get together again soon. Bro, why am I smiling like that? What the fuck? That's creepy. Well, now that the Earth's crisis is finally over, I think I'll just lay down for a moment and... <clears throat> Yeah.
if you couldn't tell that was a snore i'm sorry if that sounded like i was gonna spit or something like that the fuck is pippi doing there Are we just gonna go through the cast of characters now, huh? Hey, I remember you as the janitor guy who kept talking shit about his wife. Well, I guess I can talk about my feelings on Earthbound Beginnings. Um. You see, I played this because I wanted to actually play Earthbound, like the actual OG, or not OG, but like Earthbound Mother 2. And so I just kind of wanted to do it in chronological order, so like, that's why I played this first one first. Um, bad idea, I guess. It's kind of like how I watched Star Wars The Phantom Menace first, instead of starting off with Episode 4. Because I didn't like episode 1, The Phantom Menace was awful! That's one of the reasons why I can't watch another Star Wars movie, because I just get reminded of that. Um... I don't... I don't know about this game in particular, because like, I, I haven't played Earthbound yet. I do plan to doing this. I do plan to play Earthbound. Maybe like, literally like, right after this one. But um... If I'm being like, completely honest, it's like... <laughs> I do not recommend playing this game, like, at first. And I think I'll keep it that way, because there's so much cryptic stuff. There's so much information that's just withheld from you. That you generally do need a guide like I did. Hey, it's all four of us. All right, I guess, yeah, this is the credits. I guess I beat it. The ending is pretty anticlimactic, and I wish I could be able to tell you the story, but I actually don't know the story. I still don't understand the story at all. And I played this for... For what? Fifth, for like 15 episodes now, right? 15 episodes? And I still have no clue what the story is. In fact, do I even get anything about here in, in the story? Basic information, game mechanics, bro route summary. Like, fuck. I, I, I genuinely don't know. Uh, here we go. In the early 1900s, a dark shadow economies ruled rural America. At the time, a young couple vanished. And his name is George and Maria, blah, 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 80 years have passed. Look, I'm sorry, I just... Okay, this thing, this thing went black for a minute. I'm sorry, I just still don't understand what the story is about. I'm very confused. I know that boy is home. Come on, son, and answer the phone. Something new has come up, man. Hey, is that my dad? Come on. Please don't tell me I have to press A. I probably have to press A, don't I? I pressed A, hello? Okay, I guess... Fuck me, I guess. I, 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 I'm pressing all the buttons and nothing's happening. I'm pressing select, I'm pressing start, I'm pressing A, I'm pressing B. What the hell? But yeah, like... I guess if you're like a big Earthbound fan, go ahead, play it. I mean, like, if you still want to play it after i done it, like, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to lose respect for you. I'm not going to be like, oh, fuck you because you played this game. It's just, I don't know. I don't recommend playing the game, in all honesty. It's all too cryptic. And a part of it is a little unenjoyable, especially with how much bullshit happens. And the controls as well. God damn these controls. They're ass. Not only do I have to deal with this delay on my Joy-Cons, but also the fact that everything is on the stupid A button. 
Guys, please, am I, can I not move at all? Is it like start in A? Start in B? I'm pressing all kinds of buttons. I guess I'm just gonna have to wait for the music to end, right? God, why can't I go to the fucking wiki without pressing any ads? Why are there so many ads in this stupid website? My God! Earthbound beginnings, blah, 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 When the town is in fields, blah, 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 when the town. God, where's the plot? Not the gameplay, God damn it! Plot. Earthbound beginnings tells the story of Ninten, a 12-year-old from Podunk who journeys around America using his psychic powers to collect eight melodies in order to save the planet from an evil race of mind-controlling aliens. Along the way, he's joined by four friends, a brilliant young... A brilliant-minded young boy tormented at school for being a weakling, a PSI pirate girl whose mother mysteriously wouldn't listen to missing, a gang leader whose parents were murdered, and a young but powerful tomboy girl who he rescues from a cemetery. Pippi doesn't do shit! What do you mean? They meet many unusual characters and visit strange settings before ultimately confronting the leaders of the aliens, Guy, on his journeys, blah, 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 blah. Earth Beginnings is mostly a non-linear game and not all the possible events or characters must be encountered to complete the game, nor do they need to be encountered in order to describe below the summary, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I am reading the entire plot and basically that's everything. I, I don't know where the fuck he's got, I don't know where the fuck I ended up finding out that there are so many people without like their parents in young town or whatnot. I don't. I don't even get like honest mother story and whatnot. It's just. It's just. This is quite mid, to be honest, and I can't move at all in the stupid end screen. Okay, so apparently there's just nothing I can do in this end screen, so I can't even save. Well, do I even really want to save? I mean, I guess I could. I guess I can do the whole, the whole ending if I wanted to again, but, eh, it's not really worth it. This is kind of depressing for an ending, because like, <laughs> yes, I did finish a game that I've been wanting to finish for so long, but like, is it worth it? Did I have fun? I had fun making the content, but I didn't have fun playing the game. I can tell you that for sure. Well, there's only one real thing I could do now. And it is this. So, my name is Pixel Love. Thank you so much for watching Earthbound Beginnings. I get it. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Maybe not in the next episode, but definitely in the next series. And take care, everybody. Hope you have a great day, and I honestly do hope that you enjoy watching Earthbound Beginnings. I will be back to play the actual Earthbound. Hopefully it will be a lot more enjoyable than Earthbound Beginnings. And hopefully I am not gonna bitch about the- I GET IT! Hopefully I'm not gonna bitch about how the stupid game ended. I- Nintendo, I get it, I get it. You don't need to give me the stupid crap. But anyways... As mentioned before, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, Memento Mori, and I will see you guys in the next series. Take care.